Hello, I'm Michael Cantor, and this is my first YouTube video. You can find my work on Instagram at Sony Magician, and I also host a Facebook page called Sony 400mm Prime, 600mm Prime, and Telephoto Lenses. We are here at Wakandahatchee Park in South Florida. Like most photographers, we always are looking at our settings, and I wanted to discuss some focus settings using the 600mm lens. Let's look at the settings. The camera is in manual with the appropriate shutter speed for this lens. On a bright day like today, I doubled the lens power to the shutter speed setting. This juvenile wood stork is perched high on a tree with no distracting backgrounds for the camera to lock onto. Initially, I have the focus set to spot tr small, which is my default, but I'm also having trouble getting an eye lock, even with the bird setting selected. So I set the focus mode to wide zone tracking, and some birds with some dark areas around the eyes give the camera some issues, but we can work around that. I'm using the back button focus and the ISO is set to automatic but limited from 100 to 400 ISO. Here is the result. This next wood stork is sleeping and the camera is not getting an eye lock again. Because I'm using an awkward setup for my tripod to take this video, I check my settings and you see me scroll through the settings to make sure that I am on bird eye recognition. Notice the camera is now up to 400 ISO when the bird is in the tree, but I'm able to get a good focused image. This next bird, a beautiful egret, I have the focus small mode set to small spot, and even though I can't get it right on the eye, the camera has no issues getting an eye lock focus. Let's look at the image. We have good focus and no issues on the crop. In this next image, the juvenile is still figuring out how to fish, and I'm not sure he knows what he's doing. Eye lock again is a problem, but I was able to still get an image. While this isn't really a usable image for me, this movie, or video I should say, is about focusing and settings. The feathers are nice and sharp. On our next image, this juvenile egret was sitting happily after lunch and the camera was able to maintain a good eye lock. Notice the box turns white sometimes when the lock isn't perfect then switches to green. No problems, I could snap pictures of this juvenile egret all day long. He's a beauty. Here's a juvenile wood stork, good lock, and I cropped it in tight so you can see how well it focused. After coming home with a new trig, <laughs> a new twig, I wait for the beautiful greeting that I know is coming. There are trees in the foreground which could cause issues on a wide focus mode, so I use a small focus box to grab a focus on what I want. And here is that image coming up. I frequent this area a lot and I've never seen this. This juvenile is begging for food and nearly fights the adult while begging. Nearly going for his throat, I notice that on wide zone focus, occasionally the camera is locking on the trees in front. Still not a problem, the camera finds the eye, good focus is achieved, and here is the cropped image. See how it's focusing on the tree in front? No problem, we get a good cropped image. I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to take you along on different kinds of shoots as I'm a general photographer. Wildlife photography is one of my favorites, but also cityscape photography, which requires long exposures and lightroom work. Here's a couple of images from my upcoming cityscape video. We will solve issues of travel photos when you want to be in an image like this. I also have a Facebook page that specializes in telephoto lenses called Sony 400mm Prime, 
600 millimeter prime, 100 to 400 zoom, and 200 to 600 zoom. It's all in one place. We hope to see you soon.